President Emerson Umingagwa's biographer, Eddie Cross has ruled out Vice President Constantino Chiwenga succeeding President Emerson Umingagwa in the event that the incumbent steps down and does not push for a third term. Cross, speaking during Hashtag Free Talk, on HSTV interview which will be aired today, said he believed Chiwenga knew that he was never going to be president and had already resigned to that fate. Chiwenga will not take over from Emerson, Iowa, no, not even for five minutes, said Cross, bubbling with confidence after interacting with Mingagua on several occasions as his biographer. Chiwenga is part of the past, and he has gone as far as he can go. He will retire along with Emerson. Emerson keeps him there because he needs the constituency. There has been speculation that Mangagwa was pushing to extend his term beyond 2028. Mingagwa, who took over from former ZANU-PF party leader, the late Robert Mugabe in a 2017 coup, is yet to come out publicly on his official position on the matter. He has, however, previously declared he would still be at the helm of the country's affairs in the year 2030. ZANU-PF's Masvingo province, however, let the cat out of the bag about his third-term bid intentions during Youth Day celebrations in February this year through a slogan. The slogan, 2030 V Umingagwa Vanange Vichipo Umingagwa will still be in power in 2030, is now being used at ZANU PF events, much to the chagrin of his opponents. Cross, who spent time with Umingagwa during the time he was writing the book, said he was convinced that the president is not going to run for a third term. He is going to retire in 2028, and in ZANU itself, there is a generational change taking place. He said, I talked to the younger generation in ZANU PF. There are some exciting guys, really exciting guys. Look, Emerson JNR won't take over. They have to win the people. They have to win the party, and I think that's tough. One thing I am absolutely sure of is that my generation, and that includes Emerson and all the others, I am 83, has failed Zimbabwe. We failed Rhodesia, and the next generation must come into play. He said, some reports have indicated that Chawinga has the backing of influential figures such as businessman Kuta Tagwiriat, but Cross said Mugabe has disbanded that influence. There is no doubt that Mugabe benefited substantially from Kuta's activities. The whole system has now been dismantled, Cross said. Cross said Mugabe has pushed Tagwiriat out of fuel and mining, forcing him into the banking and commercial sector as he brought down the businessman's monopoly and control of state affairs. In 2019, Emerson called me in and he said I want to revive the second pipeline and he appointed then Daniel McKenzie Nkiu as chairperson of the National Oil Company of Zimbabwe and instructed him to take the pipeline back from Tagwiriai which he did in 2019 and Tagwiriai was then instructed to get out of the fuel business. Cross narrated. Of course Tagwiriai is close to Mr. President, and I was then told to get on with the pipeline. So we are now in a position where we are waiting for Mozambique to approve their side of the pipeline, and when that happens we will start building it. He Tagwiriai took all the money he got from the fuel business, he got a lot of money and he bought a lot of properties and put it into Kavimba. Now Kavimba has been taken over by the National Wealth Fund and Kuda remains with his commercial and banking interests. Cross said. Cross said he has no interest in joining ZANU PF. Hey,